So let's say you got your solid state in your computer and your regular hard drive for storage. And you save pictures by default to photos. But it's taking up space on your solid state. 37 gigs. Now we go to the computer right here. So at one terabyte solid state, it's, you know, it's taking up 37 gigs of that. I want to move that over to the two terabyte hard drive. That's what it's for. Um, but if I move this out of this folder, then it's out of the system library. So I'm going to right click, go to properties, go to location, and then in here, I can just remove all of this, change this to the D drive, which is the data one. That's the regular two terabyte hard drive. I'm going to click apply. It's going to ask me if I want to create this. So yes. And it's going to ask if I want to move everything there. Yes. There we go. There it goes. Easy. So once that's done, it'll be in data, and then I can just do that for the rest of these documents, downloads, music, videos. So some of them are already in there, but that's uh, that's what you got to do to save some space on a solid state. It's really not that hard, and then the system works seamlessly after that because everything that you download straight from Chrome, things like that, it'll automatically go into the default downloads folder, which the location right here is changed. So the default location will be on the other drive. So all of your stuff just automatically goes in here. If, you, if you're an iTunes user, it uh, defaults to music, which when you change the location over to the regular hard drive instead of the solid state, it'll just automatically go right over. It's seamless. So that's how you can save a lot of space on your solid state. Keep your system running quick. Everything like that. Get all your, uh, your junk and just keep that over on a cheaper hard drive, larger capacity. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that easy. Yeah, still going. All right, anyway, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff.